In his 1962 book Diffusion of Innovations, Everett M. Rogers defined five groups of individuals responsible for the adoption and eventual market penetration of a new idea or technology, the innovators, the early adopters, the early majority, the late majority, and the laggards. And as with any market-based technology, the electric vehicle's success depends on each of those groups embracing it. High's decent range, hatchback versatility, sprightly handling, bargainly steel. Lowe's poor braking performance, available only in California. For more than a century, small independent companies and interested individuals served in the role of F innovators, tinkering with the technology in garages and workshops. Arguably, the technology only reached the larger subset of early adopters within the past decade thanks to relatively affordable F options such as the Nissan Leaf as well as the pricier but impressive Tesla Model S with the arrival of the Chevrolet Bolt F and the Tesla Model 3, a pair of sub dollar 40 battery electric vehicles with more than 200 miles of driving range, the F is prepped to reach the more expansive and more cautious early majority. Still. The early majority is a largely untapped and unproven group within the F marketplace, which likely explains why the high and Ionic electric instead targets already established battery electric vehicles such as the Ford Focus Electric, the Leaf, and the Volkswagen e-Golf. Like those models, the Ionic electric is a comfortable and versatile hatchback that can travel more than 100 miles between charges while bearing a cost of entry that comes in at less than $31,000 before tax rebates. Leading from behind equipped with a 28.0 kWh lithium-ion battery pack, the Ionic Electric offers the least capacity in its competitive subset. And yet, the Korean hatchback can travel an EPR-rated 124 miles on a single charge, Further than both the Focus Electric and the Leaf are nearly matching the e-Golf's 125 miles. Credit high and I's ability to squeeze out an EP estimated 136 mph combined figure from the Ionic Electric. That beats the e-Golf 119 mph, the Leaf 112, and the Focus 107. Over the course of 490 miles, we observed 135 mph from the electric hatch. The Ionic Electric's operating efficiency is no fluke, Hyundai designed a model with aerodynamics and weight savings in mind. Features such as a permanently closed off upper grille area, a nearly flat undercarriage, and an aero-efficient comeback profile also used by the Toyota Prius help the Ionic slice through the air with a drag coefficient of just 0.24. Additionally, a set of Michelin Energy Saver as all-season tires wrapped around model-specific 16-inch wheels help lower rolling resistance. With a curb weight of 3,240 pounds, our Ionic F was a substantial 384 pounds lighter than the last Focus Electric we tested. It also carries about 150 pounds less mass than both the e-Golf and the Leaf. Recharging the Ionic Electric takes 4 hours and 25 minutes on a 240 volt power source, according to Hyundai. However, the company claims that the battery pack can be charged to 80% of capacity in as little as 23 minutes when using a 100 kW DC fast charging system. Ionic Drive Although the Ionic lacks the fine-tuned dynamic acumen of the e-Golf, the Hyundai's limited mass makes it surprisingly enjoyable to push to its modest limits. Credit the nicely weighted steering and a low center of gravity courtesy of the battery pack's location beneath the rear seat. In order to fit the fully electric model's physically larger battery pack versus the fefine traditional hybrid Ionics under its 6040 split rear bench seat, Hyundai equipped the model with a space-efficient torsion beam rear suspension in place of the Ionic Hybrid's more sophisticated multi-link setup. Even so, the Ionic F's 24 cubic foot cargo hold is down 3 cubes compared with the hybrids. The Ionic Electric is motivated by a single 118 horsepower permanent magnet synchronous AC motor. Although its power output is modest, the motor provides an instantaneous 215 lbft of torque. 
while a 0 to 60 mph time of 8.6 seconds and a quarter mile run of 16.7 seconds at 83 miles per hour are nothing to brag about, both are slight improvements over the numbers put down by the 139 horsepower Ionic Hybrid, which needed 8.9 seconds and 16.9 seconds at 82 miles per hour to complete both feats. More impressive was the Ionic's 30 to 50 mph passing time of 3.4 seconds, which edges that of the 268 horsepower Subaru WRX equipped with an automatic transmission by 0.1 second. Trying to slow the Ionic electric is an entirely different matter, however, with the hatch's low rolling resistance tires contributing to an inexcusably long 194 foot stopping distance from 70 miles per hour versus 181 feet for the Chevy Bolt Ev. Even worse, we found that the brake pedal lost any sense of mechanical feel in panic braking and that the Ionic's brakes suffered from noticeable fade after repeated use. Nevertheless, in typical, non emergency braking situations, the electric hatchback comes to a halt with little drama. Like other electric vehicles, the Ionic F relies on a regenerative braking system to initially slow the car and replenish the battery pack. Paddle shifters on the steering wheel allow the driver to choose from four different regenerative braking settings. At the lowest setting, the Ionic requires the driver use the brake pedal to slow to a stop. At the highest setting, the EV can be brought almost to a halt simply by lifting off the accelerator pedal. Inside, the Ionic Electric features a model-specific center console that drains the Ionic Hybrid's console-mounted gear shift lever for a push-button setup, which allows for a large open area forward of the gear selector. As in the Ionic Hybrid, the Ionic Electric features a 7.0-inch digital instrument cluster that tailors the gauge design to each of the car's three driving modes, Normal, Eco, and Sport. We spent most of our time in Normal mode, as Eco made the Ionic Electric feel lethargic and Sport made the accelerator pedal far too jumpy. The price is right with a starting price of $30,385. The Ionic Electric costs exactly $7,000 more than the base Ionic Hybrid. Factor in tax credits of $7,500 from the federal government and $2,500 from the state of California, the only state where the Ionic Electric is currently sold, and the cost of Hyundai's F is effectively lowered to $20,385. This can be further reduced by municipal credits available in certain locales. The intra-level Ionic Electric includes a proximity key with push-button start, automatic climate control, heated front seats, and a 7.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. For $33,385. The limited trim level adds features such as blind spot monitoring, leather upholstery, a power driver's seat, LED headlights, and rear vac vents. Our test car also had the $3,500 Ultimate package, which includes a power sunroof, an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation, adaptive cruise control, and advanced aid safety items such as automated emergency braking and lane departure warning. The grand total, $36,885. Hyundai does one better, though, and allows California residents to lease an Ionic Electric as part of its Ionic Unlimited Plus subscription plan. For $2,500 down on $275 per month, Hyundai will hand do the keys to an Ionic Electric for 36 months. The plan has no mileage limits and covers all wear items and scheduled maintenance. High and I also will reimburse customers for the cost of electricity used to power the Ionic F up to 50,000 miles, which few 3 Ionic customers will exceed. The plan's monthly fee jumps to $305 per month for the better equipped limited and $365 per month for the top off the line limited with the ultimate package. Given the generally poor resale value of modern electric vehicles, this leasing structure is quite attractive over an outright purchase. The Ionic Electric may lack the driving range in the multi-state sales model to appeal to the early majority of F buyers, 
but Hyundai Ioniq Unlimited Plus subscription plan might just be the ace in the hole that the model needs to sway early adopters away from the similarly priced e-golf, Focus Electric, and Leaf.